Funky mix. Start sequence. Let's go. This is the Saima X5UW first person view in real time. It's got a 720p Wi Fi camera. As you can see, it's, it's attached to the bottom here. Now, this is the X5 series, which is a pretty good series. Saima's done a really good job. In fact, my first one I got was this one, which is the X5 HW. So, it's got this camera too. As you can see, the big difference in the way these look. This is the little brother to this one. This is an upgrade. This actually uses this battery. And that is a little problem with this. They went to more of, of its own battery, so I can't use these. I kind of sucks. I have six of these. Would have been nice to use it in here. As you'll see when I open this, it, it's different. So let's see what's in here. the instruction manual. It's all in English. It's got the parts list in case you crash it and need something. It's got everything that's in the box here. Looks like it covers all the controls on the transmitter. And how to put the battery in. Change it. There is an app that comes with this you can download on your phone. Which is actually on the box. On the box, there's a couple QR codes here you can scan in, or you can probably go out and get it on the Android or on the Apple Store. I believe it's called Sima Go, and the app's pretty nice because you can you can actually fly this without the transmitter and use your phone if you want to just use the app. I don't suggest it; it's kind of hard to fly that way. So here it is. It's got a really pretty red color to it. It's really nice. Oh, this one came with a bonus. So you have this extra little uh, quadcopter, little thing, metal thing you put together. Nice little toy if you want to play and put that together. Kind of nice. So it comes with a screwdriver because you're going to need that to put this stuff on. Comes with a charging cable for the batteries. Comes with a USB card reader because this does come with a, a SD card to record stuff on. I normally don't put these on. I have a lot of trees, and these are like tree catchers. But if you're gonna fly indoors, or if you're going to, if you're new, not sure what you're doing, I recommend these. They just push it on the side and they screw in. Screws are already on there. <coughs> There's one battery. There's two batteries. As you can see, that's actually the same battery in there. They just put in this nice little case, which is more like the DJI quadcopters. So that's where it charges, and that's where it plugs in when you stick it in here. It's nice. <clears throat> I looked them up. They're about six bucks. Not real expensive, so it's not worth taking this apart. I mean, yeah, it's got screws on it. You could take this apart and try to stick this in there, but why bother? They're like six bucks. I think you can get five or six of them and a charger to charge them all at the same time for twenty bucks. Plus, I also saw on the box. On the box, they have this three battery and this three battery charger that you can get too. So that's kind of nice. I don't know if I would get that. That's probably coming right from them instead of somebody else, but that's up to you. So you got the camera here. It's different than the one that's on here. You can see this one compared to this one. This is a 720. It just plugs into the bottom of this and just slides on. And you can see it's got the SD card in here. So this just pushes in and out. It's a 4 gig card. We'll have to see how good it is. So it's not bad, just pushes right in there, it's pretty simple. Comes with four extra props. In case you break these. You got your transmitter, which they really changed. They took all the buttons and all the extra stuff, made this really a minimal transmitter. So you see you need a screwdriver to get that off. This probably uses four AA batteries that you have to provide because it doesn't have them. So this is your power button. You're up and down, left and right, forward, backwards. On this side, you got your video. The bottom one is to take, to take pictures while you're flying it. The top one over here, I believe, is 3D flips. So when you push that, whichever way you move this stick, it's going to flip. But this does lose altitude from what I've seen. So you got to make sure you're high enough when you do it or you're going to hit the ground. And this bottom one, 
is for auto takeoff and auto land. So if you don't want to, there's like three different ways to do this. When you first turn this on, to link this to this so that it knows what they're talking to each other, you go up, down, then these blades will start. And then if you push up, it'll take off. Or you can push these down and in, and that'll also start these. And then you can just push up to take off. Or it's just as easy to push this button, and this will start up, and it'll just take off. And you can also land that way if it's in the air. So if you're having problems or you're not sure, you can always hit that button. It'll land itself. Now they took all the extra trim buttons away. So when you get this out the first time, oh, it also comes with this nice little clip, which goes on here. You just remove this and it slides in here. And it'll hold your phone. This one's actually pretty nice. It's big enough it should hold your phone. Not any size phone. And, and pretty tight so it shouldn't fall out. That's so you can look at the app and see what it's seeing. So it's first person view so you can see what the camera sees. So when you first go to fly this, when it takes off, if this doesn't stay kind of steady, I mean if the wind's pushing it, that's one thing, but if this floats forward or backwards, or you can trim that. And to trim it, since they don't have buttons, what they've done is they, you push down on this stick, and then you use this stick over here, the, the right one, to adjust. Like it's going forward as you try to fly it, if you push and hold this one down and move this backwards, it'll pull it back until it's, when it gets steady, you let go. Same with the left or right. So if it's going right, you want to push left. If it's going left, you want to push right. So this does the forward, backwards, side to side. Now if this thing's spinning, when it shouldn't be spinning, then you have to push and hold this one, and you have to move the stick left or right the opposite way. So that'll catch it and make it go back the other way. So like headless mode, I normally don't fly headless mode, but if you're a beginner, it's good to know. This thing will, like, whichever way the camera's facing is normally the front, which I believe is, yeah, that way. So, when you're flying this, when you, if you turn this, now the stick, when you move it, you're going to go the opposite way. So you got to remember that. But in headless mode, there is no front or back. Whichever way this is facing when you take off, it, it, or it's in in headless mode, when you push forward, it goes forward. It doesn't matter which way this is facing, when you push forward, it goes forward. Backwards, backwards, sideways, sideways. Whichever way, so you don't have to remember. Oh, I turn now the opposite way. I gotta go. To so get into that, you just push and hold this button down for like two seconds, and then you'll hear it beep, and that'll tell you that you're in headless mode. So this is your on and off button for here. So this should be ready to fly. So we put this battery in here. So this battery, just, you can see, there's a little plug there, so it goes in this way, and just pushes in, and you can hear it snap in there. So this should turn on. Yes, it did. You push and hold it for a second. You can see all the lights are on, it's flashing. I don't have batteries in, in the transmitter where I can sync this up. But this should fly right out of the box. So that'll be the next thing we do is we'll take this outside and fly it and see how it goes. And I'll add some video on here for that.